hello <laughs> day oh shoot 23 saturday's 21 sunday's 22 monday's 23 tuesday's 24 wednesday's 25 holy it's day 25 okay i don't think i was ready for that i think my numbers may be off mm, day 25 or bera balloon six month program um I'm coming to you from the bathtub because I'm at the end of my day and I'm exhausted and it was a day. Um, and I literally walked in, walked in the door, fed the cat, changed the litter box and ran a bath and got in. And after this, I'm going to bed. Um, today was a good day, a good day. Why? Because I had no gastric issues, none. I had no bloating, I had no gas, no burping, no uh, farting. Um, I had no cramps. I had no heartburn. Um, I had no issues today. I felt great. But I also didn't eat today at all. I didn't eat anything. I ate, I drank, ate a, I, tea, tea, I drank tea, um, chamomile tea, a little bit of honey. So, you know, count that as sugar. And I drank a, um, I drank a protein drink, non-dairy, it's me sliding in the tub. I drank a non-dairy uh, sugar-free protein drink. I was at the office and, oh, sorry. <laughs> I was at the office and um, my energy was really, really fading. Like I was really, really feeling like, I was going to slump over and fall asleep, even though I was crazy busy. Like at, at, I was, it was one of my busiest days ever. I was crazy busy, but I, um, I, my energy was just sinking, sinking, sinking. I was like, I'm not going to survive. I got to figure something out. And so that's when I was like, okay, I will have, um, I didn't want to do too much caffeine because I'm not a big caffeine person. And so I was like, I don't want a weird caffeine reaction, um, here at work. So I, I went and got one of the protein drinks and it was fine. I don't love that kind of protein drink, but I drank it and it took me hours to drink it. I still didn't finish it, but it helped. It helped. It got my energy level a little bit back up and um, helped me get through the rest of the day. And that's all I ate, drank, period. There were croissants. I did not eat them. There was lunch to order. I did not order it. We had a big, or kind of a big event at the end of the day with pizza and um catering from a famous steak place here in New York City. I did not eat anything because I just remember the amount of pain I've been in. And also that every single thing I eat makes me bloat. Everything I eat makes me bloat. Um, really, um, really anything, almost even a lot of things I drink make me bloat. So I just didn't want a, I just didn't want a day where I've, I'm having a deal with all of that gastric stuff happening either at home or in the in the real world out in the wild i just i just wanted to not have that and so today was the first day that i kind of fasted you can say i was trying some intermittent fasting if you want so the last time i had something to eat eat was yesterday i think i had some hummus in the evening yesterday so i guess that would have been the last like food food but it's hard to tell like what's food but at a certain point like mushy food how different is that from you know, thick shakes and smoothies, you know, how, what's the difference there? Um, so I will say I don't, I didn't count my calories today and I didn't count anything else today. I'm going to drink one clear energy, clear, not energy, clear protein drink. Um, because I just want to be mindful of that. And I'm going to drink a vitamin, a, a vitamin water and a coconut, um, water tonight while I'm in the tub just to make sure I don't, uh, you know, get dehydrated. I get a little, I have a tendency towards that. And, you know, a hot bath will kind of dry you out sometimes, weirdly. So um, I'll drink that. But it felt great today not to have any weird reactions happening to me. Um, it felt great. It felt clean, finally, to just be able to confidently sit there and not worry that, oh, my God, I'm going to have to pass gas. What am I going to do? Where do I go? How do I get out of here? You know, or I'm going to have to burp. Where am I going to burp? Is it going to be smelly? Like, make sure it's going to be okay. Like, which direction do I burp? Where do I go? Like, I didn't have to think about any of that. It was wonderful. But in order to achieve that, I had to fast the whole day. That's not sustainable every day. Of course not. But 
it was a good answer for today in the office and I see if I can do it tomorrow. Two days in a row might be tough. Here's the thing though, that got me kind of sad today. In the middle of the day, I, I did get hungry. I'm starting to sweat. And my hair is falling down now. Uh oh. Um, I, in the middle of the day, I started to get really hungry. And um, <laughs> that's what happens when you are a person who is always touching your face and your hair. Ah, trying to record something. Um, Today, um, in the middle of the day, I got sad because I was hungry. I really felt hungry, and so it was an effort to not eat. And um, I started to think about, sorry, I started to think about what I can eat and what I can't eat. And um, basically, it hit me that like, okay, I can't eat meat products, animal products. I can't eat meat, fish, eggs. And I shouldn't eat carbs because carbs is what got me here in the first daggone place. And that made me sad because that's, you know, that's how I've structured my meals for the last several years. Obviously, that's not been the best thing for me, but that's how I've structured my meals the last several years. So it really kind of felt like, well, what am I going to eat? How am I going to eat? How am I going to, and look, I have a hair hat on. It doesn't matter. It's just, it's a bun that's falling down, basically. Um, how am I going to, how am I going to eat when I can't eat animal products? And I can't eat carbohydrates. Of course, I can eat carbo carbohydrates, but I need to be careful because right now they're the only thing that I tolerate without severe bloating that is yummy filling. Um, so I cannot allow myself to sort of lean on carbs because that's not going to lead me to the result I want. I know that my body will just get addicted and want more and more carbs is what happens. Then, of course, I had to sit myself down and, and, and take a deep breath and relax and say, hey, yes, you, can, you, you need to avoid animal products. And yes, you need to avoid carbs. But by no means are those the only things that you can actually eat and feel full from and, and, and that taste delicious. Lots of salads I can eat. Lots of soups I can eat. I have things here at home that I can put together. Like, so I, I um, yeah, I had to kind of come to that realization. But I will say that here in the West, at least the lifestyle I've been living, that is kind of how we have structured meals, right? It's been the the carb and the meat and some veg, the carb and the meat and some veg, the carb and the meat and some veg. And I'm a carbaholic. I always have to have my carbs. I, I can go little little amounts of time without them, but in general, like that's not a good, that's not sustainable. Like I, I like carbs, I like pasta, I like rice, I like bread. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a big adjustment. So I did get some split peas this weekend and when I went uh, did some grocery shopping. So I have that to make some pea soup. And that's one of those things you make a big pot of. You can eat that for a week. Um, you can even freeze it and, 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 and you know, parcel it out for um, food prep. Of course, I can eat fruits and vegetables. And of course, there are fruits and vegetables here. I don't know why that like escaped my mind, but fruits and vegetables are never really my comfort food. Yes, I love a nice salad. I love a big old salad. I love that. I, I enjoy vegetables, but that's never been the comfort food. It's getting cold outside. We are in fall, going towards winter. I want, you know, those rich tasting, yummy, decadent feeling pastas. Um, stuffed pastas, um, thick, rich sauces. Uh, we're coming towards um, Thanksgiving season. So, of course, I'm thinking about all the things I love there and all the things I love there. You know, carbs, the stuffing, the mac and cheese. You know, the sweet potatoes are great. The greens are great. They're, like, there's things I can eat, but they don't have the punch that <laughs> mac and cheese does. They don't hit like stuffing. Um, and I can't eat the meat. Um, I think that's what sort of derailed me, that I really thought that with this balloon, I could just just ease into, ease well into a keto plan for like six months and get myself together. And to now see like, I can't do um, animal product keto program. Like it's really derailed me trying to figure out what and how to eat. Um, today on the scale, you already know, ain't nothing changed. 218 pounds. I, 
I didn't eat today. I power walked home today. I mean, power walk, put on fast music and my ears were swinging my arms hard, like power walking. And I get home and get on the scale and it hasn't moved. I don't know. Um, I did finally take my measurements today so that I can actually monitor that. And so if, if the fat is moving around in different ways, I will be able to see it there. But um, right now it is disheartening and it is confusing. I would say that's how I feel right now. I feel kind of confused and dismayed, dismayed at the, at the, the lack of weight loss on the, on the scale and, and confused because I was ready to learn a new way to eat. I don't know that I was ready to fully transform my relationship to food so far that I have no connection, like have, have nothing left that I love and feel great about. Um, I thought it would be about portions, but it's really become about um, what I can tolerate and to view, really sort of view these as like allergic reactions almost, like, like a nuclear a nuclear reaction happens in my gut when I eat an animal product that isn't just a little bit of butter. Um, massive bloating, not as, not, as, not as harsh, but bloating and gas do come to me when I eat pasta in anything more than like, like two spoonfuls. Like two spoonfuls, that's about all I can eat of a pasta before my stomach starts to bloat. Again, everything makes me bloat, but like, it's just harsh. It's harsh to manage. It's harsh to to deal with. And now that I know what the fallout is, now that I know like the 18 hour cycle, you know, I kind of negotiate with myself. Do you want this pain? Do you want, you know, do you want the better part of a whole day that may span over two days dealing with this gastrically? Do you want to not be able to be away from, be too far from the bathroom for like half of a day? Is that what you're ready to do? And of course that affects your lifestyle. So I am um, I'm losing bubbles, so I better close this off. So, so, um, yeah, um, I, that, that's where I am right now. That's where I am emotionally. I am confused and dismayed. And some of the confusion also is like, it feels like every day I have to develop a new plan, right? Um, so it's like, okay, the fasting got me through today, but can I do it two days in a row this long, right? Like, can I do it tomorrow? I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. So then what do I eat tomorrow? You know, can I put, should I put the, the, um, the split peas on tonight so that I have some soup ready tomorrow that I can take with me so I'm not tempted and it'll be filling. But then like, do I want to chance a whole bowl of, of beans in the office in case that sets me off somehow gastrically? Pre the balloon, beans were not my friend. But nowadays, since everything else gives me such crazy gas, it's like, man, the little lactose intolerance and, and bean poots I had before, like they don't even seem like nothing now. But, you know, everything's relative. So now that the major gas is gone, do I want to go back to that life and like, you know, again, I'm in close quarters at work. Um, I'm super busy. So there's not a lot of time to be like, I'm just going to step away for a long walk and get all this out of my system. No, I can't. Um, you know, five minutes, I stop and have a conversation with someone or someone comes to my desk and has a conversation five minutes. And it's like, you know, I'm in my mind, I'm like thinking of all the things that I'm missing and that I got to get through that, I, that I've got to get done. Things that people are waiting for me on in the next 10, 20 minutes. Like there's no, I have no down time at work. I have no ability to step away and kind of manage this physically. So I have to err on the side of caution. I really do. Um, that's where it is today. Day 25. Yeah, I don't think I was prepared for that. I think I've been counting wrong. Today is Wednesday. Saturday is like the day the balloon was put in three weeks ago. So Saturday 21, Sunday 22, Monday 23, Tuesday 24. Yeah, it's the 25th. This week has flown by. Um, that means I have five days to reach the ridiculous goal. I said, why did I say that? Why did I say that? See, that's part of the old diet culture. I'm gonna lose this weight by such and such and it's good and my whole life's gonna be great. And I was like, no, no, a lot has to change. 
And yeah, you can, you know, drink those crazy, you know, clean you out teas that basically just put you on the toilet and clean your entire colon out. I could drink that for three days and probably drop a few pounds. Yes, but how sustainable is that? The second I, I drink, you know, have a glass of juice, even just a, like a sip of coconut water, I'll just, you know, it'll pile back on. It's just water weight, water weight. Um, but I said I wanted to be at as close as two or ideally under 200 by the 30 by the end of 30 days with this balloon that's five days away of course i'm not gonna make that goal but it felt good today to try and for my personal accountability it felt good like it felt it felt good to know i didn't cheat today you know it felt good to know like hey today i really applied myself and also following up on that whole concept of like don't rest on the balloon today i didn't rest on the balloon and i'm proud of myself for that yeah let me add that to how i feel today i feel proud that i didn't that i made the effort today today if i had lost any weight today it would have been because of me right because i fought hunger pangs i fought cravings i stayed put and didn't go you know didn't didn't fall into temptation um, I avoided all temptation and I talked to myself through the hunger. If that's a habit that I keep, welcome, <laughs> welcome, you know, come stay a while, stay forever. If that's a new habit, um, but I'm feeling it. It's the end of the day. I'm in the tub. Um, I like, I like a nice long bath. So I'll be in here a little while and then I'll be exhausted and I'll just go right to bed. It'll be early to bed because I've got an early day tomorrow. And that's the other thing um the long days are hard so twice a week um my days start at 6 a.m because i have a uh, russian language class at 6 a.m my russian teacher is in russia so we have to you know to work on you know we've got eight hours difference and that's the time that work i got to do it before um work um, and it's a two hour class. So I do that. I start my day. That, and it's it, in the past, it was great for my synapses. Like I always felt like it was like a workout for my brain. And I was like on fire all day, like mentally. Um, but now to add the physical exhaustion, I'm, I know I'm going to feel it because I had taken time off from those classes since the, I got the balloon inserted. But yesterday, Tuesday, I, uh, I resumed the class and um, it was hard to wake up at six o'clock in the morning and be alert and speaking in a difficult language and reading a difficult language. Um, and the rest of the day, I was like, I felt, I felt that energy like... I felt the fight to stay in the game, kind of. Like, I felt like I had to kind of manufacture some energy. Today was so busy, but without food, I felt the same way. Like, I had to manufacture energy, and that's how I ended up reaching for that protein drink. And tomorrow, I'm concerned that, you know, these days pile into each other. And so what I might have been able to manifest for myself on Tuesday is going to be a lot, a lot tougher to manifest for myself on Thursday to be up, to be alive, to be full on, and then to continue that energy all day long. And tomorrow will be a full, I will go right from my class into the office. And I have a lot of face-to-face -face stuff in the office, important meetings um, to set up and people that I need to be like on for. Bosses are all back from business travel. Um, and it'll be a long day. It's not gonna finish till about 6.30 or seven. So that'll be just, just the actual physical mental work of full 12 hours, you know, add to that the commute, add to that, you know, the stress of like getting dressed, what fits, what do I want to wear today, you know, um, and then figuring out how do I fit in exercise. When I work from home, it's so easy because I can, you know, just say, hey, I'm stepping out for a quick appointment during lunch um, and I just, you know, do some, you know, do one of the exercise um sessions from that uh that um virtual health website um in the office you know i work in an industry that um basically pays you to stay at your desk you're paid you're given a free lunch and you're paid the hour that you would normally step out that means that you really don't ever leave and that means that there's no downtime there's no place to just say hey i need to even a stretch i need to stretch or like i just need to like step away and not hear the phones ringing for a minute there's nothing none of that um 
So I need to be on top energetic form or at least on normal energetic form to handle that. And so I'm a little concerned, but you know, we'll deal with it. All of this is an experiment, like I said. And so I'll learn now tomorrow, like what that's like to have my full regular Thursday schedule back, you know, with the early Russian class, the all day, possibly I may have an after work thing. I'm trying to get out of it, but I'm not sure um, how I put that together and how I deal with it. But mostly right now, I'm just going to be happy about fasting today. I'm going to be happy about taking control of that. And I may celebrate that with a little glass of Prosecco. Don't hate me, okay? It's not cheating if I didn't eat anything else. Call this calories. I know it's sugar. But what other sugar did I have today? A little bit of honey in my tea. Sugar-free protein drink. So that had some, I don't know, stevia or something like that in it. But um, can I can I live? Can I have one little glass of Prosecco? I don't care. I'm going to have one little glass of Prosecco and go to bed. Day 25. Good night.